Hi guys. In our previous concept, we discussed about kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is possessed by a moving object. Suppose an object of mass m is moving with a velocity v. So this object having kinetic energy. We can write the kinetic energy expression half m v square. Here m is mass, m equal to mass of the object v equal to velocity of the object. And we derived expression for kinetic energy. From that we understand that a very important definition from for work we know the work is defined as work equal to the product of force times displacement force and displacement they should be in the same direction so the work is also defined as work equal to change in kinetic energy one more formula change in kinetic energy so this work we can represent as kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial so these are two formulas for work how we define work work is nothing but the product of force times displacement not only that the work equal to change in kinetic energy so how do you find kinetic energy so kinetic energy's formula is nothing but half m v square so let us try to do some problems on this so that we can understand much better an object of mass 15 kg is moving with a uniform velocity of 4 meter per second. What is the kinetic energy of possessed by the object? Suppose you take one small object. So this is an object and this is having mass. So this object having mass m is given that m equal to 4 kg sorry 15 kg 15 kg so given object mass small m equal to 15 kg and it is moving so this object is moving with a velocity equal to 4 meter per second so that is given velocity of the object velocity v equal to 4 meter per second what we need to find find kinetic energy kinetic energy k dot e equal to how much dash you know the formula kinetic energy kinetic energy equal to half m v square substitute the known values mass here it equal to 15 kg and velocity is given 4 meter per second square so let us simplify this if you can simplify this so kinetic energy equal to so you can cut it 2 in 15 7.5 times I can get that 7.5 times 4 square it means 16 times kg meter square per second square so if you multiply 7.5 times 16 so the value we got at here if you multiply 7.5 
टाइम 60 ये वैल्यू गोज टू 120 केजी मीटर पर मीटर स्क्वायर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर सो दिस आल्सो वी राइट एस 120 जूल सो जूल्स आर द एनर्जीज यूनिट्स सो द काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ द मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट हियर इक्वल टू 120 जूल्स so this is how we simply calculate the kinetic energy if we know mass and velocity. Let's try one more problem. A certain force acting on a 20 kg mass changes its velocity from 5 meter per second to 2 meter per second. Calculate the work done by the force. So see the problem. So an object of 20 kg mass so it's 20 kg its mass m equal to 20 kg and it's already moving so that's what's given so it's already moving moving with a velocity velocity v equal to 5 meter per second but on this moving object, some force act. Maybe the force from opposite side. So then only the velocity is decreasing. Because if this is a force, some force which is acting, just like friction. Yeah, you can take it that as friction force. Suppose in some friction force which is acting on the object right under it. Suppose a friction force which is acting on the object, its velocity is decreasing. So velocity is decreasing to 2 meter per second. What we need to calculate? We need to calculate the work done by the force. If you remember, work one more formula, work equal to change in kinetic energy. Change in kinetic energy. So this also you can write that as kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial. So to find the work done, I need to find first the kinetic energy final, what is that? What is the kinetic energy initial? Now let us write what is the given values is there. So given that, given mass m equal to 20 kg and I take the initial velocity initial velocity v suffix i equal to 5 meter per second So, can we calculate the initial kinetic energy? Therefore, kinetic energy initial equal to half m times velocity initial square. Now, multiply that. So, kinetic energy initial I suffix I equal to half times mass is given 20 and the velocity is given 5 square do the calculation at here 2 in 20 10 times so 5 square 25 25 times 10 so kinetic energy initial which equal to it can get 250 joule so that is the kinetic energy initial Now we need to find the kinetic energy final. Same for final mass m it should not change, it's a 20 kg. But final after applying force, the object velocity decreased. So final velocity v suffix f equal to how much it is 2 meter per second. Now just figure it out by using this kinetic energy final equal to half m 
velocity final square. So do the calculation after substituting that. So half times 20 times 2 whole square. Now if you can do the calculation 2 in 20 10 times and 10 multiplication 4. I can get 10 times 4 which equal to 40 joules. Now we need to calculate the work done. What is the work done we know? Work done equal to change in kinetic energy. Kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial. Do the subtraction. We are having two values. Kinetic energy final means 40 joule minus kinetic energy initial equal to 250 joule. So we got it that value here equal to minus 210 joule. That is the work done. So here the what is the negative sign tells about? What is the minus sign tells about? The work done here we got that minus 210 joule. If you can read the problem carefully, a certain force acting on 20 kg mass changes its velocity from 5 meter per second to 2 meter per second. So object is moving with 5 meter per second but a certain force just like friction. Friction always acts negative direction. So here the negative sign tells about the work done is opposite to the motion of the object. The work done by the force, the force which is applied on the object is in the negative direction of the motion of the objects. That's why its velocity is decreasing from 5 meter per second to 2 meter per second. So that's why here the negative sign comes in the work done. So let's try one more problem. What is the work to be done to increase the velocity of a car from 30 km per hour to 60 km per hour in the mass of the car is 1500 kg. So here also we need to find work done to increase the velocity. Suppose if you are having a car. So for a moment if you can take this a toy car. So this car how mass equal to 1500 kg and its initial velocity so velocity initial equal to 30 km per hour we will convert that in terms of meter per second just multiply with 5 upon 80 meter per second Now, to increase the velocity of the car from 30 km per hour to 60 km per hour. So, that is the velocity final, which is given 60 km per hour. So, there should be some force should act on the car, maybe engine force or any kind of like that. If force acts on the car, then its velocity increases. Now, what is the work done to increase the velocity? Here also we need to calculate to increase the vel velocity, the work done. The work done equal to, work done equal to change in kinetic energy. Kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial. In the two cases, we need to find what is the kinetic energy. In the initial velocity and the final velocity. So you, you write this as under given condition, given mass m equal to 1500 kg, 
and initial velocity vi equal to 30 km per hour just multiply with 5 by 18 it converts into meter per second and final velocity vf equal to 60 km per hour so this is also we need to convert 60 times 5 upon 18 in terms of meter per second so let me do calculation at here if the initial velocity and final velocity therefore initial velocity v suffix i equal to so 30 times 5 upon 18 so do the calculation that so the value here we got it that 8.33 in terms of meter per second for final velocity v suffix f equal to now this time should become 60 times 5 by 18 so just multiply the above answer with the 2 or you can do the calculation of 5 by upon 80 times 60 it gives me 16.66 meter per second so we converted velocity in terms of meter per second now find the initial kinetic energy therefore initial kinetic energy equal to k dot e suffix i equal to half m v i square we, we are having those values mass equal to 1500 and initial velocity equal to 8.33 whole square so if you do this calculation 2 in 1500 gives that 750 oops it's a very big bow font so i can change it to small yeah, you can cut the 2 in 1500, use that 750. So, kinetic energy initial equal to 750 times 8.33 whole square. Let's do a quick calculation of that. 8.33 times 8.33 equal to times 750 so the answer here i got that kinetic energy initial equal to 52041.675 joule it's a big number similarly we got it that final kinetic energy final kinetic energy that is kinetic energy final equal to half m v suffix f square so substitute the value half mass it is 1500 times final velocity here we got it 16.66 whole square so we can do the same calculation 2 in 1500 750 times now if I do this calculation fast 750 times 16.66 whole square so 16.66 times 16.66 times 750 so here also I got a very big number that is 208166.7 joule so this is the kinetic energy final now we need to calculate the work done therefore work done equal to work done equal to kinetic energy final minus kinetic energy initial so final kinetic energy value 20816.7 joules i will drop the joules i will write it later minus 
times joules subtract these two numbers then what the answer is gone that is our final answer so 2081667.7 minus 52041.67 so the work done equal to 156125.03 joule so this is the work done now if you see this work done we got a positive number there is no negative sign so here work done is positive the work done is positive means the force applied direction is in the direction of motion so the force applied on the car is in the same direction of motion of the car if the car is moving in the same direction that's why the velocity of the car is increasing so this is the motion direction so motion direction and applied force direction they both are in the same direction so that's the reason the work is positive so when the work is negative when the applied force direction we got it in the another case so here in this in this problem we got that work done is negative so why the work done is negative in this problem the motion direction and force direction so if this direction of motion if this is the direction of motion and force direction force is applied in the opposite direction so this is the direction of force so they both are opposite so that's the reason the work here in this case go equal to negative work and when is the positive work positive work done equal to the motion direction and applied force direction they both are same so this is how we solve the problems so you please remember the two formulas work done equal to change in kinetic energy not only that kinetic energy formula equal to half m v square so by using these two formulas we will figure it out what they ask whether kinetic energy or the work done